Okay, so we are going to go over the answers to our geometry readiness test. And uh, let's get started. The first one we're going to solve for x. So what I would like to do is move all the x's on the right hand side because I like my x's to be positive. And so that means I need to move my numbers on the other side. So when I do that, I have 19 equals 3x. So I have one more step in here. I'm going to divide both sides by 3. And my final answer is 19 thirds. Okay, let's look at number 2. Number 2, once again, we have to solve, but we have to be very careful when we use the distributive property. We have to be uh, sensitive to multiplying with positive and negative numbers. And so watch your signs. And so once again, I'm going to put all the x's onto one side. And I'm going to choose the right-hand side because once again, that's going to make them positive. I have a positive 6x. And then I'm going to put all the numbers on the other side, and I'm going to get a negative 30. I have one more step in here. I'm going to divide both sides by x, excuse me, 6, and I get an answer, x equals negative 5. All right, I got one more in here before I'm going to take a little break. This is, uh, once again, we're solving. So what I would like to do here is get rid of the fractions. That's my technique usually when I have... Uh, an equation with fractions. So when I look at all the denominators, I want to think of one special number called the least common multiple that is uh, going to um, help get the denominators to cancel. So notice 2 and 4 are all going to go into 4 evenly. So 2 goes into 4 twice. 2 times 1x is 2x. And I'm going to do this process for all four terms in here. Well, the next one, four goes into four one time. One times negative three is negative three. The four goes into four one time. One times three x is three x. And the last one, four goes into four one time. Uh, one times five is five. So this is actually the same exact equation except all my x's, um, excuse me, all my denominators um, have disappeared. So I want to put all the x's on one side. Once again, I like to make them positive, so I'm putting them on the left-hand side. And now I'm going to move all my numbers and put them on the um, uh, left-hand side, the variables on the right-hand side. And I have a final answer of x equals negative 8. All right, let's take a little break.